what's up guys? If you love basketball like me, and are as good as me, you want to play it all the time. So I'm going to show you how to build this quick $50 basketball hoop for your pool, indoor, mount it on the wall, mount it on the floor, whatever. Let's go. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to build this in a couple ways. I'm going to show you how to build it so you can mount it to a wall just in case you have a block wall or something next to your pool. And I'm going to show you how to mount it into the ground. A couple things you need for this is one of these cheap basketball hoops. You can get them on Amazon for about $20 or $30. You need some three quarter inch pipe, some elbows, some flanges, and I put some insulation around my pipe because it gets hot out here in Phoenix during the summer. Grab some scrap wood and you're ready to go. First thing you're going to do is you're going to take the rim off of the backboard. They're just held on there with a couple of nuts and bolts. Unscrew those. Go ahead and set your backboard and your rim to the side. You're going to be using those later in the project. Okay, now grab your scrap wood. I have a piece of plywood here. Go ahead and set your backboard over the scrap wood. Trace out your backboard and you're going to be cutting that out in a couple of steps. If all you have is leftover 2x4s, you're going to have to join them together somehow. I chose to go with my Craig jig and some wood glue. Real simple, I could have pressed it up, but this was much faster. So drill your holes and glue your boards up. Once you have those glued and drilled together, just go ahead and set your backboard over the board. Trace it out and you're going to do the same thing as you did before, just a different style. Once you have your boards traced out, you can cut them. I'm showing you a couple different ways to cut them here depending on what tools you have at your disposal. Once you're happy with your cuts, it's time to sand. Sand your boards down nice and smooth. And I chose to go ahead and sand my edges too and get my corners nice and round. After sanding, I decided that I was gonna go ahead and brand my boards. Here, you can put whatever you want behind the backboard. You can finish your boards in whatever color, stain them, paint them. I chose to burn them. I think the burn looked outside is gonna look really cool during the summertime. Since my boards are going outside by the pool, I decided to coat them in three coats of spar urethane. The spar urethane is just going to protect the wood from the elements, and it really helps bring that color out in the wood once you burn it. Now we can get back to the backboards. You're gonna to wanna to take all this little foam stuff they put on the backboards to protect your doors when you hang them inside. I just used a flat razor blade, it came right off. Clean it up a little if you want. Just try not to scratch the backboard because you are gonna be able to see that. Now you can take your cleaned up backboard and set it onto the wood. I chose to clamp mine down so it wouldn't move around during this process. And now I'm centering up my rim and I'm going to mark my holes so I can drill my holes all the way through the backboard and the wood as well. After you drill your holes, just make sure you clean out behind the backboard, make sure that there's no stuff you're gonna see behind there. And then you could take your rim and attach it to your backboard. At this point, you have a couple of completed rims now. Now we can start setting up the mounting brackets. All you should need for this is a pair of pliers, maybe a wrench, some scissors to cut the foam, the insulation and a nice pair of gloves helps. 
Depending on how you plan on installing this is going to depend on what pieces you actually need. I'm showing you both ways. First way, you're just going to take two flanges and a straight piece of pipe. Mount one piece to the backboard and one piece to your wall. The second way, you're going to need your two flanges, your big pipe. I chose to use a 36 inch pipe. I'm going to go ahead and wrap my pipe in the insulation so it doesn't get hot during the summer and burn one of the kids. I'm going to put my elbow on. Make sure everything's nice and tight. Now I have a 10 inch pipe that I'm going to put next to the foam, measure and cut. Wrap that piece of pipe put it into the flange and then I'll thread that into the elbow. Now because I plan on mounting this next to the pool into the concrete I need some tools. Here I have a hammer drill, level, hammer, some epoxy resin, marker, some redheads. Start by figuring out where you want to place your pipe. Mark your holes, and then you can drill your holes with the hammer drill. Just make sure that you blow your holes out and get all that dust out once you drill them. Once the dust is blown out, you can go ahead and start filling those holes with epoxy resin. Take your pipe, line up your holes with your flange. Go ahead and start sticking the redheads in. Now you can go ahead and hammer those things down and secure them, making sure they're nice and tight. Once your pipe is secure, you can go ahead and attach your backboard to the remaining flange. This is where your level comes into play. I just used some wood screws here. Now I decided I was gonna add some hooks so I can hang an old milk crate up here so the kids can have all their balls in one place. Final step, stand back and admire your work. Go grab some swim shorts and get in the pool. Since we ended up building two basketball hoops, we just went ahead and hung the other one on the inside. Well, that's it, you're ready to play. Hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll put all the products I use, materials list and everything in the link uh, and have some fun.